Welcome back to Shurus's classes. Today we are going to be dealing with optimization and Kuhn Tucker's sufficiency theorem. Let's dive into a question. Over here we are given a question. Since it was invisible, I have written it on the side. We need to. We are given with the question minimize c equals to f x, which is the first one, which are subs and the constants are g to power i x uh, greater than equals to r i and x is greater than zero. Now we need to change it into a maximization problem. How to do that? The process is very simple. Maximize. Now multiply minus one to both sides of the objective equation. That is minus c equals to minus f x. Now we'll do the same for the constraint also. That is minus g to power i x less than equals to r i. Notice the inequality has changed since we have multiplied a negative number on both the sides. For x, it will just change to a equality sign. X is greater than equals to zero. This is because x is an input function or an input variable. Now. In the next question, we see that what in the present problem are equivalents of f and g to power i functions in the Kuhn-Tucker sufficiency theorem. Let's see how to do that. In the second case, the answers are f x equals to minus f x. That is, equivalents of f in the present function or the given function is f x equals to minus f x, and for g, it comes to g to power i x equals to minus g to power i x over here small g and different and capital g have different meanings or diff symbolize different functions in the third we are to find concavity and convexity conditions that needs to be placed on f and capital g functions to make it a sufficient condition for a maximum applicable here. Let's see how to do that. In this case, the answers will be that f x should be convex and g to power i x should be concave such that they both are in the non-negative Now given the minimization problem, we need to state the Kuhn Tucker sufficient the 